All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the empire, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Uh, we're back with Greedfall, and I fast traveled out to this village, so we can talk to. I think it's Deidre we gotta talk to. Yeah, it's her. How's it going? You survived, which must mean, alas, that one of the Nardaig is with us no longer. You are a great warrior. You could almost be a storm warrior. What do you seek? Came to talk to you. You have set a trap for us, invoking and releasing that creature. It is true. And the Nadaig is indeed one of the faces, a spirit of the oil. I was hoping that you would disappear. The swamps do not like to give back those who enter. You have seen things that no stranger to our clan has ever seen. Secrets that no one must know. But you survived. You are strong. I should not have taught you so weak. The ritual. This is how you prepare the blood sap. What are you talking about, Siora? No one knows the recipe. But it is the very barn that allows her warriors to enter into a trance. And to rise again when they have fallen. It is true. You do not know the ingredients, but you know now how the blessing works. I have nothing more to give you than my excuses. And that you keep to yourself all that you have seen. You are a brave on all Manawi. And I would like to request your help. <laughs> you request my help after sending me on a suicide mission? You helped us to find the camp of the Soul Lasser. And you have proven your valor fighting the Nardike. So, yes. I am asking for your help in saving the people who are suffering in this camp. What do you intend to do, exactly? Attack and destroy this camp and those who live in it to set my people free. And how am I supposed to help you? My clan is powerful, but so are these soul lasser. I need more warriors. Esel of the Gaius Rad is in my debt, but I'm afraid she might refuse to honor it after her clan was defeated. You know how to talk to people. And you are friends with her twin sister. I would like you to go and convince her to help me. I suppose I could try, at least. That would be good. It would also be good if you could fight alongside us to set these prisoners free. Meet us near the camp with the forces you managed to assemble. So we're attacking a... The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name, Enon Mil Frichtiman, the god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. That's right. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago, a lot longer than we first thought. The Malachor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize, a curse cast at that epoch brought back by the first defeated colonists. Makes sense. After all, are they not the reason the first guardians of the native legends appeared? Whatever, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy as of yet, he will be happy to know that we have made progress. I do not want to interrupt, but I think our priority should be to find Cornelia I doubt our Mother Cardinal is aware of the Inquisition's actions. She will certainly want to put an end to it all to appease the natives. Whereas, a frontal assault led by Deirdre and her men would only rekindle the conflict. And Cornelia would certainly take umbrage at an intervention of the congregation without even informing her of the situation. Makes sense. So maybe we can convince her to calm all the tensions down a little bit. <coughs> so let's see, it is this one. So let's let's go to uh is the fast travel point? Yeah, there's right here. Let's go to San Mateus first. No, that's Hikmet. And then we'll go uh reassemble some forces. Okay. I swear, this blackmail we got on her is coming in handy quite often. Okay, 
Up we go. Cornelia! Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sarde, what can I do for you? I have come to inform you of the existence of a secret camp created by the Inquisitors of the Ordo Luminis. From what we know, they abduct natives and take them there to torture them and convert them by force. And those who refuse to renounce their faith, despite their suffering, are shot in cold blood. How does the Inquisition still dare to take action? You'd think that what happened to them because of their overzealous ways would have taught them a lesson. In any case, if the natives came to you to complain, we must intervene. In that case, we should act fast, Your Eminence. Because one of these native clans is getting ready for an assault. They managed to find the camp and are gathering their troops. I implore you to dissuade them, Your Excellency. It is our duty to fix this situation. I wouldn't want the natives to think that we were letting them suffer without doing anything. Since you seem to know all the details of this matter, will you agree to lead my troops? Sure. You want me to lead the offensive on this bastion of the Inquisition? Yes. Of course, you would be leading a troop of guards, which I will immediately put at your disposal. Go to the barracks and show this mandate to the quartermaster. He will ensure that you are provided with the men you need. As for me, I pray the Enlightened will guide you in this terrible task. Okay. Looks like that worked out. Let's go uh, get a hold of those guards. Lead my men in battle. Would we go into the uh, tavern? Slash barracks. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, please tell me I'm going in the right door. I am not. Lovely. It's blocked. Ah, damn it. So, I think it's through here, right? Yes. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. All right, where's the quartermaster? Hey, buddy, got an order for you. Not that. Greetings, quartermaster Herbert. I'm in charge of these barracks, and you are? De Sade, legate of the congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. And what can I do for you? Here, the Mother Cardinal gave me this mandate for you to supply me with some troops. Everything looks perfectly in order. May I ask you what this is about? Some members of the Ordo Luminis built a camp to convert the natives by force. Her Eminence wishes to put an end to what could lead to a war between Teleme and the natives. I see. Oh, it was high time someone put an end to the dangerous zealousness of these Inquisitors. I will order the men I have here to assemble in the courtyard. But do not worry. I will send you my best. I just need to explain the mission to them, and they'll be on their way. Not a problem. Soldiers, the Mother Cardinal is sending you to fight under the orders of Her Excellency de Sade. You will have to put an end to the crimes committed by the Inquisition in a nearby fort. I expect you to obey the orders of Her Excellency without question. For Teleme, for the Guard, fight with honor! Comrades, pack your bags. Okay. We're leaving at once. Fight with honor! For the coin and the enlightened. You can set off, Your Excellency. Our troops will meet you at the agreed place. Excellent. 
And that's how it should be. So where are we going? Up, up north, really? Okay, cool. Give me this, damn it. Right, so is there a gate over here? Yes. Oh no, this, that's just the main gate, that's right. Only S New Serene has three fucking gates. Or is it four? No, it's three, technically. Up this way. What is ambushing us? Bandits! And let's just... Because why not? Oh my god. Well, that's as far as that's gonna get me. Jeez, what hit me? Did they shoot me or something? Alright, well at least we're back on the path. Let's turn on the light. Our men are ready, Your Excellency. They're awaiting your orders. Perfect. Our objective is located beyond this cliff. The Inquisitors are not expecting us. We have the element of surprise. Let's make good use of it. Understood, Your Excellency. We'll be discreet. Let's find a vantage point to get a better overview of this fort. So, this is the place where the Ordo Luminous stain their hands with blood. May they be struck by the Enlightened. There's no turning back. I hope that you are all ready. Most of their troops seem to be outside. As if they sense we are coming. The prisoners are most likely inside. In some basement, perhaps. And it seems as if there are some in the right wing as well. Most of the fighting will take place outside. The priests are at a disadvantage in confined spaces. We must strike quickly if we want to make good use of the element of surprise. What are your orders, Your Excellency? We're behind the camp where there are fewer guards. Getting inside will prove less troublesome from this side. We will conduct two near simultaneous assaults. The first larger group will attack from the front to cause chaos in the enemy ranks. As for me, my companions and I will get inside the building from the back and sneak into the basement. We will set as many prisoners free as we can and use the opportunity to search the building. Once you have eliminated the troops in the front of the building, focus on the right wing. At your orders. Should we keep a few men here to catch any potential runners? Indeed. An excellent suggestion. Are you ready for the assault? We're ready, Your Excellency. In that case, conduct the assault as soon as you are in position. To war we go! Maybe 
Here for now. We are still fighting outside. So we're heading upstairs. Out here? Jesus Christ. Upstairs. God, the cook scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Hello, anyone here? No. Heals himself right out of death range. I think that was the last of the Inquisitors. The fort is safe now. All right, downstairs we go. I hope to God this is the last of the Inquisition we have to deal with. Because, you know, every time we think we've murdered all of them, they're just coming right back like cockroaches. But downstairs. We're done here. Let's lend a hand to our allies outside. Right, so as there are still up. some prisoners there. Oh no, we can go out this way. There's like a couple more over here. Come on, Let's Come see on, what you're capable 
Okay, he just disappeared into the wall. How awful. These prisoners have been dead for days. There's no one left to set free. Jesus. Let's get out of here. Right, so where are we going? Outside. Okay, go out this way. We go around. Okay. Looks like it. Or maybe we can go through. What the f Okay. How did the battle go for you? Your plan was successful, Your Excellency. We won a resounding victory. Congratulations. We were able to set the prisoners free. They were completely exhausted, but alive. I would like for you to escort them to the closest village. At your command, Your Excellency. Once this is done, you can return to your garrison. And do not worry. The Mother Cardinal will be informed of your valor in combat. Okay. Now we gotta report our success. Camp right there. Oh, it's legit right here. Just because I'm lazy and I want to sell most of this stuff. Right up here. There's the merchant. Come closer. Don't hesitate. All of our products are a blue. Don't hesitate. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Keep that. chain. Do you want to keep that? Nah. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep All right, Cornelia. I salute you. Lady de Sardé, what can I do for you? We managed to dismantle the Ordo Luminis's camp, Your Eminence. And while we were there, we gathered proof of their exactions. Those wretched fools! How dare they challenge me a second time! I will make sure that a decree is published so that their order is now forbidden on this island. The guard served you well, and bravely followed your orders. They will be thanked and rewarded for it. 
but it is to you, Your Excellency, that I express my deepest gratitude. Without your intervention, Teleme as a whole would have appeared as a monster in the eyes of the Islanders. It was my pleasure, Mother Cardinal. Okay, May let's go talk to Deirdre, or Deirdre, however, however the hell you say her name. I don't think it's been actually said once, but still. Let's hope she's happy about what has transpired. Oh my god. Can I? There we go. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? Nope. I'm under the impression that you've not learned as many things as you wanted by observing Dorcas's clan. That's true. I hope to discover the physical or alchemical mechanism behind their metamorphosis. But instead, I don't know. I think I now understand the bond that unites their people to this land. The links that connect them and the power of their culture. It's unexpected. I wonder if this couldn't become another subject for study. The study of people, their customs and beliefs. It is. If I said that in Al Saad, people would think I've gone mad, but here, everything is possible, right? Learning about the natives would allow us to stop being afraid of them and to see them like fellow humans at last. I must leave you. Let's go. What do you seek? I have come to tell you that we have taken care of the Inquisitors and set the camp's prisoners free. You thought we weren't capable of fighting the Soul Lasser and of freeing our people? That's not it. I thought it was my duty to inform the woman who represents Teleme here of the situation. She's the commander of the Soul Lasser. And she was furious when she heard about their actions. She made a point of punishing them herself, and of having your people set free as a token of good faith. I understand. She's proven a respectable queen. And you have proven an ally. I thank you for your help on Almanawi. From now on, you have our gratitude and our trust. From this day forward, you are a garant of our clan. Anything more? No. Uh, thank you very much. I need to be going. Well, I will am sick. Great. So, all that's left is to go inform Constantine of what we found. So, we're gonna grab, uh, Kurt, cause I almost forgot to do so. How you doing, though, first? Greenblood, my friend. Do you need something? You seemed really attached to Rainer. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age, and I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. Uh, tell him that you wondered whether there had been something more between them. Ask if he ever thought of having children. Uh, tell him that it was 
can understand him better. Don't be foolish. It's just that you seemed so hurt about everything he went through. I wanted to understand how you felt. That's kind. I'm sorry I made that stupid comment. This whole matter makes me nervous. I should have known that you were far too subtle to feel like that. Anything else? Uh, no. I'll I drop must it. leave you. All right, come on, Kurt. Let's go. Closer and tell me what brings you. Let's see. Okay, so just the remedy. I wanted to inform you of our progress in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised me, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they pointed in the same direction towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him Enon Mil Frigdemon, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth? Even a superstition? I saw it take shape with my own eyes during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Katasak, my friend. I saw you flinch hearing that name. You were familiar with this being. All of the Donegada know him, even in their flesh. He is dear Freddy. It is with him we make our bond. But we would be surprised that he is at the origin of your sickness. He is generous and only rages when attacked and wounded. I fear that that is exactly what we did. Cousin, I know that I ask much of you, but I have no choice. You need to go and find this magical being. I won't survive for much longer. Beg him. Offer him all that he wants, but we must have this remedy. I need it. I shall do all in my power, Constantine. I promise you. But is there a way to communicate with him? I was already sent to fight a guardian under that pretext, in the hopes that it would kill me. There is a way. A way so sacred that even we, Donegada, cannot use it. Enon Mil Frichtiman decides. It is not I who judges your intentions. Go and find Glendon, the sage of the village council of Torhagenadu. If he deems you worthy, he will guide you. To be able to speak with him, you must present this seal. It will prove that you are the friend of a member of the council. I had no idea that such a talisman was required. You have not yet been named Mal of your clan, Siora. Daughter of Bladnet, when this has come to pass, we will give you a seal that allows you to give voice to your friends when visiting the Council. It is a symbol of great trust. Why are you awarding me this? I do not wish to lose the soul who has put their life in my hands. And also, you have proven you are our friend back there in my village. Thank you, Katasak. I will not forget this honor you bestow upon me. And thank you, fair cousin. For everything. Okay, so we've got our newest mission to go communicate with a god. Let's see what we can get up to.
Knowing the way people work, though, we're probably gonna have like some sort of trial or something to speak with Glendod. This path? Seems like it. Please tell me this is a camp over here. Oh, do the smoke, I think so. It's a nice wide open field. Where's this hut? Up, oh, up the, up the hill. Do it! Hello, my name is Desarde. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate Desarde. No, this building is closed to Renaixe. I am Siora. Daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Maal of the Red Spears, was a member of the Council. All here remember, and the Vorst Tirse. She was a courageous Maal, but you are not yet Maal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. But I do, uh... Have this seal. Here is the seal of Donegad Katasak, of the village of Wen Xavier. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. That was easy. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Desarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasak. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin and many other people on our island suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that Enon Mil Frichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasak sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial, the trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern 
And tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And I suppose this cavern is guarded? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. Okay, uh, got any information? What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you. An all meal frichtiman. I protected these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still none of us have ever entered. Am I to gather that there has never been a high king in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside? The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. Okay. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. Siora, you wanted to talk? Karans, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaixe better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Of course. Let's go. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens. It is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Okay. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection. Thank you. That was kind. Okay, so... Where are we headed? So we need to talk to your sister, Siora. I know we need to talk to them. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? <laughs> Not really, Father. My name is de Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnid. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the Light was the only true path. 
even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. I don't By think not so. respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Where is that? All the way up there, we can... What is this camp? Uh... Okay. Make it a short little jaunt. I don't necessarily believe that. I only have 18 shots or 17 shots. Let's just ignore it and keep moving. Oh my god, what? Oh, those are bandits. I got shot in the back. stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Mm -hmm. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the Keepers of Promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it. Okay. So we're going back to the village? Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, and there's a camp right here. Lovely. Nope, not this one. Back here, I think it is. Oh, shit. Open. Everything is broken and turned upside down. A sculpted, engraved stone. <sighs> Empty. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. This workshop was devastated on purpose. The owner must have left in a hurry taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? 
This engraved stone bears the mark of Beraeg Nodas, Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigido, and we'll find out. Okay, well, we've got a clue at least. I think the Inquisitors over there did this. Let's fast travel. Hmm. I didn't see it on the map. Don't cast my friend. What brings you here on Almanawi? We're looking for Karadek, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaesrad, and I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he is? Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? No, thank you once again, Dunkus. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam say. All right, that's another lead. Open the door. So this way, or there it is, there's the gate. This way, and then we turn down when the, the uh, crossroads come up. It is Karadig. He's over there. Siora, Bertir Tumad Donegad. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Uh, the role as promise keeper. Tell me about your role as keeper of promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the keepers of promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you are a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadeg. Do you want to know anything else? Yeah, can you read this? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaigs, isn't it? I should never have accepted to seal such a promise. I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. 
It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Don Agad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. The Renaikse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life, and because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaikse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the Rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The Rebels? The Donea Exregao. They fight the Renaikse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you find them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, Take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Don Egan. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to a saint. Oh boy. Oh yeah, go back directly. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us. And insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. I don't care. Oh, ooh. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the Earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Not a Siora, problem. I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Okay. All right, well, we'll see what else we can get up to when we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. So if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment.